All right, now we're going to look at the import process. So let's give the import button a click. And right now it says select an import source. Right now, the only option we have is a CSV file. If you had other events such as, uh, you know, a bridal shower, engagement party, or, or something else, and let's say you had contact names in that other event, you could import from it. So again, let's say you already did uh, an engagement party and you put 50 names in there. You could just say, oh, I'm going to import from my engagement party. And you would quickly be able to get the exact same information, quickly import it. Since we do not have another event, we're going to use this CSV file format. A CSV file is a comma separated values file. They are most often opened by Excel and edited by Excel, but in reality it's just a text file with your information separated by commas. So it's just a nice structured document that's easy to work with, programmatically speaking. So I do require that you use its template. We have this open templates folder. If you give that a click, a template file window will appear and this is a nice blank file for you to use. I will open that up. Here it is. It's just a nice blank file uh, with all these different columns. If you want to make them look a little prettier you can just click this and then you can double click a little separator. That will look more formatted so you can see what's cooking. It has that many columns it goes to Y. So that is a blank CSV file. I'm going to show you one filled out. Here we have a filled out CSV, a contact CSV, and you can see that we have over here a hundred rows. The first row is a header row. And the one thing that I want to point out is, is that each individual contact that you have must be on their own unique row. Each human being has their own unique row. If you have a family of three like this, the Andrews, Mr. and Mrs., and they have a daughter, Abigail, there's three different people, they get three different rows. That's done so that the software can give you the correct counts, it can do the right meal counts, it can provide you with the correct statistics, you know, male, female, and all that good stuff, so that you can exactly know how many people are invited, how many people are coming, how many people are having a Beef Wellington, how many people are having the chicken marsala, whatever it may be, it'll allow you to provide the, the venues and the vendors and the caterers with the correct statistics and for you to know exactly what's going to happen on your big day. So again, every row must be unique for each individual person that you're going to be inviting. Over here you can see there's this RSVP ID column. It has a 1, 2, here's 3, 3. Here's 444. Four, four. This is basically saying I want the Andersons to be on the same RSVP. I want the Andrew family, Andrew's family, to be on the same RSVP. By doing that, not only will you be importing contacts, but you'll be simultaneously putting these contacts on an invitation so that that step is taken care of. So it could be a really big time saver for you. And, if you have the time and you're doing it this way, I recommend that you would put in the RSVP IDs to speed up the process. So here, let's let's go back to I do. We're back in I do here. We're going to click Browse. We're going to select this document. Here it is. You got all these good names going. We're going to do this. We're going to go Select All, and we're going to click Import process takes a little bit of time because it's doing a lot of calculations and stuff. Sometimes it can go quicker, but for contacts it takes a little bit of time. I'm going to work through the process just so you can see that it's live. But right now it's importing the contacts, it's determining if they should be on an invitation, it's creating the invitation, and it's also going to be creating group names. So here it is. So these people do not have a group assigned, but if we go down we can start seeing, okay, the Adams. She's put on an invitation, but it's not sent. It'll be sent with a little red medallion to show that it was sealed. We got this one. We got the Andersons. We got the Andrews family with all three of them on there. So we can see all these people were imported. And you can see we have 104 people now. We have the uh, 
the bride and groom, we had the stars, we had the doe family, so that was four, and we just imported 100, so that's 104. So they're all imported, and a lot of them were put on an invitation, and we'll look at that in a second. So that was a very quick and helpful way to get your list up and running. And now let's talk a little bit more about you know, changing the attributes of some of the things that we imported. For some of these individuals, um, for example, the Miss titles, the some of the girls we didn't, you know, put in the appropriate gender. So it's a blue icon without really a true image. And we want to make everything as perfect as possible. So what you can do here, I'm going to click this. I'm going to go in the search and I'm just going to type M-I-S-S. So this will say anything that comes up with M-I-S-S, if, if, even if you had someone in Mississippi, actually, it would show up. So you got to watch what you're looking at. But here are all these people that are Miss. All these are girls. Abigail was done correctly, but let's say all these are not. Well, this, this one's done okay. She's a female. We did that right. The star we did correctly. But all these are not done. You can do control click to do individual selection. You can do shift click to do consecutive rows. Or you can do control A to select everybody. And even if we already have this correct, if we already have the bride correct and we already have this correct, it won't do any harm. We can now right click or we can click on the edit button and we'll get this little pop up and we're going to say, let's set the gender to female. Boom. They're all female. So that's a quick way to change the attributes of some selected names. So now we'll go back to this and you can quickly see that we have, you know, 45 females and 58 males. We could probably go through some more and make that even more perfect. We could look at the child and adult, look at those. Maybe we could do an eyeball quick test and select some people there and uh, make everything perfect. But that's just a way to quickly set attributes of a lot of people. So you could just go this, shift click, right click, and then change, you know, friend of or A, B list, the title, out of towner or whatever it may be. Change the group name. So just know that you have the ability to quickly change names very, very quickly. So that is an overview of right clicking and the power of editing there. So that's that. I think I'll finish it on a quick report. Let's say you wanted to see just the Let's just go with all the people that are friend of both. Let's do that. We'll just say, let's do a quick word report. My screen's a little bit bigger than this little film, so let me crop it down here. So here's a quick report of just that. If we wanted to do a report of who's out of towner, click on this. There's the out of towners. If we wanted to do something else, let's say if we want to see everybody here that you know, is, uh, what else do we want to see? Let's go back to that miss. All the people that are that, M-I-S-S, all the girls or whatever. We can click on Word. We have a Word report. If you want to click Excel, you'll get them all in Excel. Click up here, double click, and you got your information. So that is a quick overview of that. And, uh, now let's move over to invitations.